Okay, welcome to the first of uh, a double header looking at the economics of economies of scale and thinking about the possible effects on profitability and also consumer welfare. Here's the question for the first essay plan. Analyze and evaluate the causes of and significance of economies of scale for the profitability of businesses such as Netflix, Amazon and Uber. In each of these uh, little videos I'll take you through the main points, build a bit of analysis and application and then make a, an evaluation. In this video we're going to look at two examples of how you can build this kind of work into an essay. So my first main point is that economies of scale, uh, I want to define the term, they flow from increasing returns to scale as a business grows in the long run. That's quite important of course, for a sense of time and scale and in theory the average cost falls, then that increases profitability, even if the price per unit charged to your customers also goes down. Building the analysis and the application, consider the digital company Netflix. Many of you will have a subscription to this business already, I guess. And it's been in existence for nearly 20 years, but in recent times, they have rapidly scaled. They now offer over 5,000 titles. They they serve over 130 million subscribers, they're generating nearly a billion pounds of revenue per month, and they posted a significant uh, profit of uh, over $500 million in 2017. And one reason for this is the exploitation of a technical economy of scale. So I'm going to explain this point. Netflix can afford to invest heavily in hugely expensive server side technology is huge service like our computer servers oftentimes in the cloud capable of streaming content to millions of users at any one time netflix in fact has developed a joint venture with amazon web service and it's also built its own proprietary content delivery network called netflix open connect the crucial point here is that the unit cost of supplying the product the, the film download for example goes down as the network expands the big cost is setting up the server-side technology, the additional user adds little to cost. So I then evaluate what's significant about this internal economy of scale is that the overhead costs of the platform are huge, but spread across millions of users across different countries, the marginal cost of adding uh, an extra film is low. Thus the average fixed cost goes down as the scale increases, and this brings down the average cost in the long run for Netflix. So this is why I think this is a significant economy of scale. And I then go on to illustrate this in an analysis diagram. And here it is. So Netflix is scaling up production. It's moving from a set of cost curves MC1, AC1 to a much bigger scale of production shown by cost curves MC2, AC2. The unit cost of production is going down. The, in this case, assuming a given level of demand, we know that demand has been increasing anyway for Netflix services, but even given the same level of demand conditions uh, shown by the AR and MR curves, the profit maximizing equilibrium goes up from Q1 to Q2. And we can show that that increases total profit from the green area, originally at price P1, to the yellow area at price P2. So even though Netflix might be, or, or a business might be charging less per unit, if there's a significant cost reduction because of economies of scale, and total profits can go up. My second point, another reason why economies of scale are significant for profit. A second internal economy of scale comes from bigger businesses being able to harness monopsony power to cut the prices they pay for things like raw materials and component parts. This is called a, a purchasing economy of scale. Uh, a purchasing economy is another example of an internal economy of scale. And again, application, consider the online retailer Amazon, dominant e-retailer in many countries, including the States. And Amazon's made over 70 acquisitions of different companies in recent times, including the big takeover of Whole Foods in 2017. So what is monopsony power? Well, monopsony power reduces the cost of acquiring a key input. Monopsony power means you have buying power. That cuts the variable marginal cost of supply and makes, uh, gives you a higher profit per unit. And an example there, the buying power might extend to what Amazon pays to print and book publishers. 
and also maybe to food manufacturers who want to use the Amazon Fresh um, ordering and delivery platform. So Amazon has the ability, as it scales up its production, to achieve purchasing economies. However, and here's a critical evaluation point, uh, monopsony power is no guarantee that economies of scale will actually increase profits. Some analysts have looked at Amazon carefully and found that actually some of their fulfillment systems are actually quite inefficient. And that may have offset or countered the gains from the cheaper supply. And a bit of evidence here, although Amazon makes an annual profit in North America of several billion pounds or several billion dollars, uh, and Amazon Web Services is highly profitable, actually internationally, the e-commerce divisions continue to make a loss, including in the UK. Takeovers, to, to fast forward economies of scale, they provide no certainty that operating profitability will go up. Another good example is Uber. Uber has scaled, but it's still making losses. In fact, it's the most loss-making private company in tech history, suggesting that the, although it's a bigger business, it perhaps hasn't yet achieved the economies of scale that theory would suggest. Okay, there's a two-pronged address or a two-pronged way of attacking this question.